from the sound of the general, she sounds all rescued and raring to go. Yeah, no thanks to Luke. The general got impounded, and Luke here didn't even lift a finger to help him out. Well, that may be so, but it seems to me that I was the one who persuaded that crane operator not to turn the general into a doorstop. Now, cool it, you two. Oh, Uncle Jesse, they've been carrying on like this ever since we left the crusher. Well, whose fault is that? It was him who got us into all this mess just because some lady made a pass at him. <laughs> you know, I believe my cousin's just a little bit jealous. Because, number one, he knows that I'm the only one in this whole dang county that can make that jump, including himself. And also, he's a little bit upset because that pretty little filly's fallen in love with me and not him. Now, look, I can understand her falling in love with either one of you fellas. Any girl in Hazard County would want to go out with either one of you. You know that. And heck, if I wasn't your cousin, now, I'd Dave, be right in look, there. I'll be the first to admit that Bo here's got a pretty face. I just wish he had the brains to match. Now, Luke, what the heck is that supposed to mean? Bo, the lady's been around. She's run into hundreds of guys. Now, why is she making a play for a country boy like you unless she got an angle? Now, listen, you two, I said cool it. No, Uncle Jesse, let him talk. Now, listen, Luke, what makes you think I can't give her something she needs, huh? Oh, sure. An amateur driver to do a crazy stunt that damn near killed the last guy. Or ain't it ever occurred to you that she might be playing you for a sucker? Listen, Luke, I don't have to take that from you. I don't have to take that from anybody. You're just lucky that we're in Uncle Jesse's house, that's all. You're unlucky, because we can always step outside. Well, there's the door, cousin. You go first. Two are big enough to hurt each other. Yeah. Now, boys. Boys, now, just simmer down before you do something you'll regret the rest of your life. Uncle Jesse, I ain't got no regrets about nothing. Especially not this. <coughs> Cousin, you just started something you ain't half man enough to finish. Oh. on your feet, stop acting like jackasses, and apologize to each other. All right, I'm oh, sorry. I guess maybe I, maybe I spoke out of turn. You're dang right you did. I ain't shaking your dang hand, neither. <laughs> 